They hit our uncle so hard that he dropped his health containers. Well, time to fuck him up. Well done, Yeet. Well, you got one heart, at least. Good thing the Alpha actually brought this box with them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's see. There it is. Ah, oh, there's the other one. <laughs> Good Just work. follow all the PA ones like breadcrumbs, and then you'll find your uncle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we also have that M disc from Paige, so I guess we'll take a look at that right now. It's just the video of him belting out Wrecking Ball. <laughs> Jade, you inherited generosity and courage from your parents. You know, I think about them a lot. We were very close friends. I like that he's moving in this. It's not just an image, he's breathing. 20 years ago, we were forced to separate because we were all having some major problems with the authorities. Your parents put you under my care to save your life. We came to Hillis. Back then, it was a peaceful planet. I had hoped to raise you there safely. But the conflict spread. Now, you must know something. If I was able to get here, it was thanks to the Beluga, the spaceship that I designed and built with your father. I'm pretty it sure I was exists. able to get here. <laughs> I did a lot of drugs when I was your age, but uh, Top shape. pretty sure I'm You'll actually on Hillis. Part of the reason best. the authorities were after me. The Beluga is at our place. You have to enter a code into each one of the consoles to open the secret hiding place. I can't say any more on this M-Disc about it, but I hope this information will be useful to you if one day, you have to use the Beluga. No matter what happens, good luck, Jade. Uncle Paige. I don't know. Anyway, I uh, took a lot of selfies one day and decided to come clean with the truth. Throughout the lighthouse, I've hidden more M-Discs. <laughs> they just... Detailing all the crimes I've committed. Oh, right. I got 25 it. years ago, I ate a man. <laughs> I didn't kill him myself, but I did eat him. Don't know how it got dead. I just found him dead in an alley. Miss Tyrus. Oh. oh, our new friend. There are guards all over the sector. Whatever you do, don't get caught. We'll meet up a little further along. Miss Tyrus, I'm here to be your new friend because your last one got killed or something. <laughs> Shawnee, Double H has informed us about Paige. He has seen him in the hands of the Alpha sections. Hang in there, Jade. Wrap up your report. That's the only way of saving Paige. He's really good at emails for a guy who doesn't know his own name. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's... It's the one memory that wasn't touched by the Doms. They don't know what email is. <laughs> oh, that shot is so good. It's really cool. This actually reminds me that um, later on in this game, there are a couple segments that, now that I think about it, I didn't think about, the, like, ever really realized this until a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a couple segments in this game that are kind of like the precursor to uh, uncharted scripted action sequences. Yeah. Um, it's like the first game, I think, that really did stuff in that style. I thought you were going to say Raving Rabbids, but okay. Oh yeah, uh. Raving Rabbids too. Um, the camera does kind of change when you're in stealth sections. Uh, it kind of does more of an up, just straight up and down thing instead of looking mm -hmm. up. Um, 
yeah, this is, uh, we're finally in the stealth sections. Uh, they like to look away from you a lot, and they have a very obvious weak point. Ah, hey, you all right? But if you do get caught, uh, like, there's... You're fucked? Yeah, basically what you do is you just hide. <laughs> there's almost always some kind of weird corner you can hide in. Um, <laughs> these lasers are, like, when they're searching for you, they have, like, a little drone that scans stuff uh, with... Uh, the lasers, and if you're touched by them, then they, they find you again. Okay, system reconnected. And yeah, they can also, if they find somebody uh, who has been kicked, they can fix their jet, their uh, air tank for them. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I ever actually showed that ever in uh, the original. But yeah, because these guys are just like pointing this way, you can just go <laughs> around them. <laughs> that guy never turns or anything. I always really like the the stealth music because the, like the tempo of it is basically the same tempo as her footsteps when she's like crouched. Yeah, I don't know if that's intentional or what. Um, I know some games have done that intentionally. Like uh, the tempo for a lot of songs in Super Mario Galaxy were timed to be the same tempo as Mario's uh, footsteps when he runs. Yeah, yeah. It's really the only way to do it. <laughs> They're completely like incapacitated if you kick them once, but if you kick them again. <laughs> just, they just blow up. They just huh. straight up blow up. <laughs> Miss Thyrus, I'm blocked by the flames! <laughs> again, he just feels very theatrical when he speaks. <laughs> I'm blocked by the flames! Good job, Ray. Ichi boy. Okay. Miss Thyrus, in case you have no other choice in the matter, you can sneak up behind the guards and strike them on their air tanks. That's their Achilles heel. We'll meet up further on. Whoops. I just wanted to talk to him. So yeah, while you... Uh, there are some, some stealth sections in this game where like you just have to do it without getting caught. Uh, the, a decent amount of them, like you can just kill everybody in direct combat if you want. <laughs> um, they're pretty tough at first if just you're because a they bad enough dude to take pictures for the governor. <laughs> yeah. Um, eventually you can learn to fight these guys like pretty much anywhere, but they are pretty difficult at first because they they attack really fast and they hit really hard. Peekaboo. <laughs> you just kicked that one in the crotch. <laughs> I like the only th like when they blow up, it's just metal chunks they drop. There's no, there's nothing else. They're just vaporized instantly. Chunks that aren't even recognizable as like armor parts. Yeah, it's just like gears, screws. Right? Isn't there something oh, over rotate. here? Let's see if we can fight this guy head on. You just have to be really good at seeing when they're about, because, like, their hammer attack comes out really fast, so you just, you just have mm -hmm. to notice their tail quickly enough. One-on-one -on -one with them, though, isn't that bad. No, no. C'est bon. It's been digitalized. Thank you, Secundo. I wish Secundo had more of a story role. Like, he does pop up more later on, but... I want to know all about Secundo. Yeah, I was hoping that the second game would be the Secundo game. 
and the, it was just like a translation error. Hold your positions and stay on alert. Intercept and destroy. I mean, there's still hope. Maybe it's really just the story of the invention of Secundo. Right, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a... Um, One of the people on your crew on that ship is an AI programmer. Yeah. It'll be like a... Um, you get like eight-year-old Mr. DeCastelac and, and Secundo, and they're your only, like, uh, characters that cross over between games. Yeah. Well, that reminds me, some of the concept art uh, for, for uh, Beyond Green Evil 2 actually does seem to show was maybe a, a baby page. Aww. So that, that'll be nice if there's a baby page. A pagelet. A, pa a pagelet, yeah. I'm very glad this is one of the games where they actually took the time to make sure that, like, when you have to follow something, you go at the same speed it does. Because there's so many games where it's like you have to follow an NPC or stay behind, like, a moving object, and it always goes a little faster or slower than you. Mm -hmm. It's just really annoying. Whoa, oh, hey. So many rats, good lord. Well, now you're doing their work for them. Yeah. You can use these rats to, to hamper the alpha section. <laughs> I should just be picking them up and dropping them elsewhere. Yeah. Should be putting them in their like, air tanks. Yeah. Ugh. And then kick them and you get a two for one. <laughs> Uh, okay, yeah, it's just, uh, well, buy more K-Pops. Account identification, okay. You'd think they'd be cheaper here, because, you know, you're, you're getting them, like, Yeah, wholesale. company discount, right? Um, so there's another animal here, but they only show up uh, if you put in some food for them. You gotta do it quick, because they, they, they take the cheese away. <laughs> Good work. Bye. I'm real sad now that our, our adventures of getting page and pictures has ended. Yeah, you think she's worried now that you sent a picture without oh, page Oh no, it? yeah, she's just gonna get a whole bunch of pictures and no pages there. And so like, is he busy? Does, does he not like me? Is, did I upset him? Is he, Was I moving too slow? Is he sick or something maybe? Like... <laughs> It's tragic, is what it is. Yeah, you can make this cool lava lamp bubble up to distract this That's guy. I'm going. Come over to the button you just pushed. <laughs> I'm gonna look at the lava lamp. <laughs> Check it out, man. Whoop. He goes pretty high. Right, this is the, uh, you get, you, one of the M-Discs that was mentioned earlier in the chat that, like, tells you what all the robots do is in this area, I believe. Paige's shoes. <gasps> what have they done with you? I'm sad that you can't find his pants here. Scunalize, okay. Yeah, if you're you're rotating his shoes, you might notice. Wait a minute, he just has codes on his shoes. <laughs> we are we are looking for two codes. Yep. Oh, there we go. Oh, damn it! You have so many hearts now. <laughs> Yeah, I've got a lot. Damn it, come on. Just want to knock this other one over here so we can get into the optional area. And yeah, if you hit them enough, like, they don't die, but their laser gets busted and they can't really hurt you anymore. Well, that's handy. Yeah. That's like dying. <laughs> Okay, let's 
Let's look at the surveillance camera. Address him for packing. Murderers! Torturers! Did you undress him for, you know, your hobby? <laughs> oh my god, the, the animal lady's in on it. Oh. Maybe I won't keep that video of my uncle being shipped like food. Yeah, I think this is just like detailing all the, uh, Oh, right, it's part of the Carlson Peters manual. <laughs> this is very important. It is. Regular army. A tea hammer. They are aware of the weak point of the breathing tank, but they're not doing anything about it. And their shoulder pads are kind of floppy. Yeah. No. They, they can't do anything about the weak point. They gotta wait until the next fiscal year so that they can allocate new funds. They're just gonna have to deal with it. Also, I gotta say, I really like that the the alpha sections have like those those striped pant legs. <laughs> it, it feels kind of I don't know. It feels a little more fun than their outfit should be. Ah shit! We know about the. They just know about all their weak points, but again, that's not doing anything. Okay, yeah, they can transport small transport objects. Transport small objects, surveillance, surveillance <laughs> and light armor. Huh. <laughs> Invulnerable well, and go. glowing. Why aren't they always glowing, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, we haven't even seen these guys yet. Oh my. Yeah, they're neat. There's a lot of things here we haven't seen yet. We got lasers and blue lasers. Last year, all kinds of lasers. Last year we had a little bit of money left over, so we thought, why don't we have different types of colored lasers? Mm hmm. All right, you can just see it pouring out a lot of K-pops here. Mm hmm. I imagine they're like, they're not quite like gummies, but they're pretty, they're pretty chewy, pretty soft. Mm hmm. I don't know. I bet they got like a crunchy center. Mm. Maybe. Like it, from, from the sound, they, they definitely have a, a, what if they're like Whoppers? Oh yeah. They could be like Whoppers. Malted milk nutrition pellets. <laughs> This reminds me that somebody... I wonder if I could still find it or if it's even still, like, available. But somebody, uh, when we did the, the first LP of this game, somebody either made or found somebody who made a recipe for making Starkos, I think. Oh. Do you remember that? No. Yeah, somebody made some kind of actual recipe. Uh, I think it was Starkos. I, I don't think they made one for Cave Ups. I'm not sure. Whoops! Whoop, 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 whoop. Getting a little overzealous there. Uh -huh. <laughs> that wasn't nothing. Uh, yeah, again, stealth, stealth is very basic. Just more of a... Uh, more of a puzzle than anything, I think. I could have sworn that he could hear rats being kicked, but maybe I'm thinking if you get bit by a rat. <laughs> <laughs> I think he can hear you getting bitten. <laughs> Whoop. Oh, okay. I forgot they put up lasers right there. Also, yeah, like it's a lot of times they have lasers. When you fight these I mean, guys, they, they did uh, allocate for them in this fiscal year, so you <laughs> got to make good on that. 
more of the issue of like fighting them isn't so much like uh, the, the the actual fighting, but they just put them in like a lot of narrow areas where it's actually hard to dodge their their hammer, or if you do yeah. dodge, you go face first into a laser. So. <laughs> you can do it. I believe in you. I'm gonna do the next go around. Here I go. Fuck him up. Just be very quiet. All right, here's another memory from the original LP. Uh huh. Wasn't it right around here when I was laughing at the idea of doing any LPs of a stealth game? <laughs> yeah, it was. Because of all this crouching and waiting. Yeah. It sure was. So look forward to Metal Gear Solid 5, the fifth one, after doing all the other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Technically, the sixth one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's also. It wasn't this dungeon. I actually think it was the next dungeon. Um, but there. I, I remember there was a decent chunk of time we were talking about the Olympics. And Michael Phelps. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a way to really date that LP. <laughs> yeah, there you go. This is also the safe point um, where I think I stopped recording one time. Um, and the next time we started recording, uh, all the game audio sounded like this. <laughs> so that was rad. <laughs> Yeah, I had a lot of yeah, fun trying yeah. to figure out what was going on there. The answer was my computer was melting, and I didn't know. Like, parts were actually... I mean, you figured it out. I, you got there. Eventually. Like, I did things that made it work better, but I didn't know why it was working better. <laughs> Look at this man's face! It's a heck of a face, it's a heck of if a you face. can call it that. I bet there's, like, a quarter of a pearl inside that man. Ugh. Give him a few more weeks, he'll be a full pearl. Get a picture of that face. Send, send it to the Iris people. Yeah. Unfortunately, you can't from this angle. Yeah. The, uh, I, I mean, I, I really actually did figure out that, like, oh, my computer was melting like when I built a new computer and I was disassembling the old one to see if there's anything worth keeping and that's when I pulled the process around so I was like oh right it's just melted in the middle now uh oh oh uh somebody has hit me up on twitter with mm -hmm. a jade cosplay and it's pretty good oh cool yeah I've never I've just never actually seen one in all the all the times people have posted cosplay pictures and stuff yeah Did you see the Alpha Sections? Look at their faces, they're no longer human! They're controlled by the Doms. We must inform the entire population of this. Quick, send a picture to the Iris Network. I'll get you looking for a way in. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> I think this guy's like really paying attention to the paperwork he's doing and not looking over here where I am. You're obscured in shadow. Yeah. Good work, Shawnee. I'll publish it. I'll also transfer it to the governor. I'm sure she'll be willing to help you out again. She loves pictures of weird gross men. <laughs> well, we're suspecting her of be also being the animal lady, so uh, <laughs> like it checks out. That's a good sign. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a course in infiltration. Oh, look at his face there. Hello. <laughs> Peekaboo. <laughs> Who's a good boy? Oh, it's okay. You got plenty of room in your crate. You're fine. <laughs> You're fine. Well, You've got your toys in there. I, you ate. You're okay. <laughs> the truth about the horrific human traffic at the Nutripills factory. The proof in issue 513 from Iris. They made that issue really fast. I'm, I'm going to guess that they just assumed of the things that they were going to find in there, so they just wrote it in advance and just plugged the pictures in the second they got them. 
Look, they do not have a fact-checking department. <laughs> they do not require two independent sources to go on the record. Mm -hmm. BuzzFeed is taking down the government. <laughs> Cool flips. Hate it when that happens. Yeah. So many days, a woman just flipped out of the shadows and kicked me so hard that I fly into the air and blow up. <laughs> also, these th this glass here is just dirty enough they can't see me through it. Ooh. It's a good thing they only hired soldiers and no cleaning staff. They should really just think about making the visor bigger on their helmets. <laughs> they have zero peripheral vision Maybe here. give some neck mobility. <laughs> yeah. Parfait. I stock it. Somebody in the chat is asking, did you read old, like, Beyond Good Evil fanfic? I did. You I did? did. I don't remember that. Uh-huh. I do remember starting a video with a really bad fan art drawing of Jade at some point. While I was explaining that, like, hey, I'm fucking up the LP. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Those were the days. And also, uh, an episode where, like, you were you were busy for, like, a week or two. Uh, I forget what. I think you are on a trip or something? Uh, Could be. I mean, it was a summer. But, so I was like, oh, well, I'll just do a small update, just get something out. So I did, like, one of the looters' caves or something. I was trying to be informational. I was like, oh, so the voice actor of Jade is blank. And I don't actually remember the name of Jade's voice actor right now. Her first name is Jane. But in the video, I just say Jane Fonda. <laughs> 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 I just said Jane Fonda, thinking that was, yep, that's the right name. That's definitely yep, not. Absolutely. <laughs> Where's Jane Fonda? <laughs> She's in Beyond Good and Evil. We figured it out. <laughs> She's voicing Jade. <laughs> You see, it's, it's all in, in the big uh, shared universe. They're all yep. connected. Yep, yep. Upper floor? Okay, I see where you're at. We'll start the deciphering program. Uh, this... <laughs> this reminds me, uh... I think we've got it. Try that T5 one. T5F4. Uh, there was, uh, something I found, uh, that I, I still have in my apartment... Uh, that I meant to ha read during Gexter Life that I did not. And it was oh. specifically, uh, my, my parents, when they visited me like a while ago, brought a bunch mm -hmm. of old stuff of mine they found in the basement when they were cleaning it. And one of them was like some old journals. I Because I used to write in journals a lot when I was a kid. Uh, uh, inspired by Doug. I, I watched yes, a lot of naturally. Doug. And so I wrote in journals because of Duck. As were we all. <laughs> uh, and there's one journal that only has one page filled out in it, and the rest is blank. And it's the beginning of a Gex the Gecko uh, fan fiction. Yeah. Uh, specifically, specifically, it's like a battle log written by a war-torn general, but at the last line, it just says General Gex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, at some point, I'm going to have to read that for something. Because, like, holy moly. Oh God, can that be, like, the opening ceremonies for next Extra Life? I think that's what it's going to have to be, yeah. <laughs> or or even a, a donation incentive. Once we hit, like, 20,000, yeah, we will I'll, read the guest journal. I'll, I'll read it dramatically. Because, uh, boy, it's incredible. <laughs> oh, no, he's all sleepy. Oh guards. no! Continue looking for the second intruder. The pig has been captured. They're bringing him in now. Your Excellency. Sup? <laughs> hey, bro. Keep the productivity up. The problem has been taken care of. My best men have found and neutralized all of the in- Anyway, we in management are gonna do like this beer pong thing tomorrow. <laughs> You're invited, <laughs> whatever. I'll take care of this minor detail myself. <laughs> no, no, just chill. I, it's fine. Yeah. 
I get you tired after work, and sometimes socializing is the last thing you want to do. We're doing like these summer hours thing. You you just take a nap. Yeah. All right, bro. Cool. Cool. That's not what you want to hear. <laughs> yeah, that's a really bad destination to hear. Yeah, this is so cool. <laughs> Alright, so this is what a pearl can do. Yeah. Right? Apparently. What the fuck is Mamago gonna unleash on the yeah, world? Yeah, like, I I always want to know, like, what Mamago does with pearls. Like, I know it's just a black market currency that maybe they can get other stuff. I just love he jumps in and is like, what the fuck is this? Oh my god! <laughs> Let's fuck it up! <laughs> See, that, that's the thing, you gotta... Boom. Yeah, it's it's satisfying. I like Get him it. to take up one leg, you take up the other, it falls down, you, you disc it. Yeah, it's, it's satisfying. The end. Okay. Bosses are simple, but they're cool. They don't say they're welcome or anything either. Although there is, yeah, there is one boss in this game that is like notor like it's known for being really hard. It, the, the final boss is it is something. Hey, Miss J, okay. I like the little Bob he's got going. Double H. <laughs> He's just waiting for the signal. He follows orders. He's a good man. He's a good soldier. Mm -hmm. He reads his Carlson and Peters. <laughs> yeah, now you're going to give this obviously powerful cursed thing to your ship repair friends. Yeah. Like, I... I Can I feel like Mama's up to something. Can they handle it? And like, yeah, what what's scarier, that they can handle it or that they can't? Paige. They've taken Paige! If it wasn't for you, it would have been me they took for a free ride in one of their luxury coffins. Turn ticket not included. I'll find you, Paige, no matter what. Hang in there. <laughs> 